Reading for January 30th. 365 Days of Richer Living, Daily Inspirations by Ernest Holmes and Raymond Charles Barker. I know that every apparent death is resurrection. Therefore I gladly die to everything that is unlike good. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23, verse 4 Unhappy is the one who mistakes the branch for the tree, and the shadow for the substance. The Talmud Gain for yourselves, ye children of Adam, by means of these transitory things which are not yours, that which is your own, and passeth not away. Fragments of a Faith Forgotten We are told that we must gain a knowledge of that which cannot pass away. The Talmud says that unhappy conditions arise when we mistake shadow for substance. Even the valley of the shadow of death causes no fear when we arrive at the consciousness of the psalmist who, from the exultation of their divine deliverance, proclaimed, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff of truth is the realization of the substantiality and the permanence of that which cannot change. We are ever renewed by the passage of the divine light through our consciousness. Behold, I make all things new. The revitalizing, regenerative power of spirit flows from the consciousness of wholeness into our physical organism and into every objective act. When we give the realization of divine presence free passage through our thought, Emerson tells us, that in these moments we are conscious that we as isolated beings are nothing but that the light is all. Thus he admonishes us to get our bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circuit. How wonderful to realize this possibility to which he refers non-resistance and non-burden. Let us, then, Learn to let the burden slip from the shoulders of personal responsibility and enter into our divine union with enthusiasm. I know that every apparent death is a resurrection. Therefore, gladly, today, I die to everything that is unlike the good. Joyfully, I am resurrected into that which is beautiful, enduring, and true. Silently, I pass from less to more, from isolation to inclusion, separation into oneness.